The following segment is sponsored by Harding Mazzotti. The village of Hoosick Falls expects to receive $3 million over the next three years as a result of a of the village joining a national class action settlement related to PFAS water contamination. Partner Rosemary Bogdan from Harding Mazzotti is here to explain this all. So what happened in this case? Well, what happened in this case is there was a class action commenced on behalf of municipalities all over the country, and the village uh, joined that class action. And the purpose of the class action was to get compensation for the villages in the costs that they have incurred to try to deal with this PFAS contamination, which has been a real problem. Yeah, one of the problems with it is it can cause health issues, injuries. So what are some of those outcomes? Um, well, PFAS is a forever chemical, and the problem is, is that it does not biodegrade. And that's true in our environment and causes environmental damage, but it's also true in our bodies. It doesn't biodegrade. And unfortunately, this man-made chemical causes health effects, as you've spoken about, which can be liver, kidney cancers, testicular cancer, mm. ulcerative colitis. Um, so, um, you know, that's really the issue. Yeah. And are there other pieces of ongoing, you know, litigation or legal action that Hoosick Falls is dealing with regarding contamination? Hoosick Falls, to my understanding, has other actions pending against uh, defendants that have not settled. So there's the opportunity in the future for them to also get compensation from those other uh, defendants that are outside of the, the class settling defendants. Gotcha. Um, if you believe that you have suffered a health issue related to PFAS contamination, what should you or can you do? Well, PFAS uh, contamination and the issue in the Hoosick Falls case is it's in the water supply. So um, if someone has been exposed to PFAS through their drinking water or um, importantly, also our firefighters have been exposed to PFAS through the firefighting foam that they use uh, not only to fight fires but for their practice, so to speak. Um, then they really should consult with a law firm that's handling the PFAS cases. We're doing that here at Harding Mazzotti um, to see about their exposure and whether their particular cancer or illness is associated with that. Yeah, no, that makes sense. All right, well, thank you so much for explaining it all for us. My pleasure. And for more info covered in our weekly What Are Your Rights segments or to send us a story idea, just head to our website, cbs6albany.com.